Hello, welcome to the video. My name's Roger, aka Rusty Rog, and today I'm going to be looking at the Sigma 16mm 1.4 prime lens for the EFM mount. Uh, obviously I bought this for my Canon uh, EOS M6 Mark II. Uh, I should say, I guess, before I start, that this is not a sponsored video. I, this is just a lens that I bought. I just want to share my thoughts with you on it and show you some test footage and things like that in this continued series of videos that I've been doing on the EOS M6 Mark II. <laughs> Today I want to talk to you about my new lens. I was able to get this as the 16mm Sigma Prime lens for the EFM lens mount. Uh, it comes with a nice little hood, uh, but it's a beautiful piece of glass from Sigma and it really does open up possibilities. Look at this, look at, look, look at the thing in my face, how the way so this focuses. How beautiful that glass is, look at it. It's really robust, really well made. It actually weighs more than the camera. It's got a nice rubber grip uh, for the for the focusing ring. It's a big fat focusing ring here, so you can't get it wrong. And um, I, I love this lens. So anyway, I have been playing with it while I've been stuck in isolation, uh, just around the house, taking photos, taking some test sort of videos. And I just wanted to share those with you. So it's, it's not so much a review other than I really like this lens and it should be in everybody's kit. I like the field of view. I like the creamy bokeh you get from the 1.4 aperture. Everything looks really good on this lens. I really, really love it. I think 16 millimeter at the moment is my favorite to play with. And I wanted to share that with you now. So first some photos that I've taken. So if I, whoosh, there they are. I've got this photo here. This is one that I took uh, just of some sunflowers on the table playing with the light coming through the blinds. I quite like this photo. Uh, here's a, another version of that where it's a bit more blurry, but you can see the color and everything looks really good. But that bokeh effect is really thanks to this lens. And then on top of that, uh, here's a portrait that I shot. So this, I took this portrait, put that on the iPad, playing with the same light, again, shooting just with the 16 millimeter. I came up with this shot here, which I, I think looks really good. I like it. I went black and white just to play with the contrast and the, uh, the, the light streaks going across it. Um, but that was all shot, both portraits, the portrait itself and the iPad portrait final shot sort of thing was all taken with this lens. So it's a very versatile lens for some really interesting photos. Let me come back to you a little bit. On video, it also looks really good with that bokeh effect and using an ND filter so that you can really take advantage of that, that shallow depth of field. So here's some test footage I made while making my lunch and uh, we'll go through that now, I guess, and see if, what you think of it.
that's just a little bit of a taste of what this lens can do. I hope you liked this video. I hope that it helped you make a decision if you were looking at the Sigma 16mm for the EFM mount. I really love this lens. I really love this lens. It's a great lens and I'm going to be using it a lot for, for basically a lot of what I do filming video and things like that. Anytime I need some really nice creamy bokeh or a change perspective or change the way a video looks, this, this is going to be my go-to for a while. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with it. Anyway, if you like this video, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe down below. And of course, if you are interested in watching more videos like this one, you've got a playlist up here that you could watch. Or if you just want to watch some vlogs, I've also got some of those down here. So thank you again for watching and we'll see you very soon in the next video.